I'm Laurie and welcome to your hip stretch and release routine. What you need today is a mat. So go ahead and meet me on your mat, take a seat and support yourself with the hands. Bring your feet a little bit wider than hip distance and very slowly let one knee just melt towards one side. So let that right knee melt in, a little internal rotation of the right hip. Inhale to bring it center, exhale other side. Inhale up to center. Exhale, right knee melts. Inhale up to center. Exhale, left knee melts. We have this three more times each side. We're gonna start with a lot of internal rotation of your hip. It's a movement that goes unnoticed a little bit. It can cause a lot of tightness in your hips. A lot of discomfort in low back as well. So we're really gonna work on improving the mobility in your hips to get you feeling really good. Twice more each side. You can always reduce the range of motion. This should feel good. It should never be painful at all. If it does, come out of it. One more each side. Inhale up to center, then on the exhale, let the knees cave in. A little gentle internal rotation. You may not feel much if you want a deeper stretch. Heel to the feet out wider and then let those knees melt in. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, press off. Left leg comes in front, right leg goes behind. Reach up and over with the left arm and take that right hip, spin it down. Feel a nice stretch along the right hip. Make sure that left hip stays grounded. If it comes off, come out of it a little bit. Inhale, bring it to center, and then exhale, just switch to the other side. So reach the right arm up and over towards the back left hip, and just spin that left hip down. One breath, one movement. Inhale to switch. Exhale to stretch and release. Inhale to switch. Exhale, release. Three more times each side, go at your own pace. Take long, deep, expansive inhales down and around. Get that 360 diaphragmatic breath. Diaphragm travels down. Everything fills with air in a 360 direction. And then on the exhale, it's just going to rebound naturally. Twice more each side. Last round, exhale, reach up and over. Bring it back to center, big deep inhale, heel toe the feet out wide, and then on the exhale, let those knees cave in. I want your feet wide enough to where the knees won't touch. And just breathe through it. Make sure those shoulders are down and away from the ears. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, come back to that 90-90 position, left foot forward, right foot back. This time, take a little twist towards the back foot, the right foot, and you can stay right here to deepen the stretch, lean forward a little bit. Start to feel something in that right hip. You can play around with it. You can come forward here. You can twist a little bit more. I want you to find a spot that feels good for you. On the inhale, bring it up. Switch to the other side, and on the exhale, twist towards that back foot. You can stay high. You can start to lean a little towards it, deepening the stretch along the left hip. This is your routine. This is your time, so find a spot that feels good for you. We have this four more times each side. One breath, one movement. Go at your own pace.
one more time each side. Inhale, bring it up to center. Heel to the feet out really wide, as wide as, as wide as they have been yet, and let those knees just melt in. Inhale, knees out. Exhale, see if we can let them melt a little bit more. Let gravity do the work here. And last time, inhale and exhale, melt. Nice work. Bring the left foot over the right quad and send that left knee towards the front of the room, whatever the front of the room looks like for you. And just slowly start to take left foot down for five, four, three, two, and one. Hold center. Brace yourself with the right hand on the mat and use that left hand to gently guide the left hip open. Not pressing on the knee, pressing on the inside of the thigh. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, let's switch. Cross right foot over left quad. Just gently guide that right leg open, pressing below the knee, right or over right along the muscle, the adductor, inner thigh. Support yourself with both hands and then take it down and over for five, four, three, two, one, and hold. Brace yourself with the left hand and use that right hand to just gently guide yourself open. Really use the left hand to press the chest towards that leg. You can always decrease the range of motion as needed as well. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, slowly release, cross the legs, and then bring the soles of the feet together. Start to flutter the knees open for four, three, Two, inhale down, and then exhale, press the knees towards the mat. Inhale, flutter for four, three, two, one. Exhale, press for four, three, two, one. Last time, inhale for four, three, two, one. Long inhales and press for four, three, two, and one. One, a nice work. Rotate to one side of your mat. Left foot comes in front, right foot goes behind, keep a neutral low back, and then start to take that right arm up and over. Immediately, you should start to feel a big stretch along the hip flexor of the right leg, even down into the quad. With every exhale, try to side reach a little bit more, making sure not to spill into the hips, keeping that neutral low back. Inhale up to center. On the exhale, this can take a little twist. You can stay right here. You can even deepen it by anchoring the elbow to the outside of the quad. And just slowly start to twist. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, undo the twist. Take both hands to the right side of the left foot. And then heel to that left foot out wide. Slowly start to let that left foot open up and keep the weight between both legs equal throughout. Take a left hip back, right hip forward, and then re-center. So you're feeling a big stretch along the left hip and into the right hip as well. Weight stays center throughout. On your next inhale, brace yourself with the right hand and then take the left hand to just gently guide that left hip open a little bit more. Looking over the left shoulder, you can always stay with both hands down like we were previously doing. This will just intensify the stretch along the left hip. One more big deep inhale, down and around. Then on the exhale, bring the left hand back to center, release left sole of the foot back to the mat, 
heel toe that left leg over, over, over until the left foot is behind the right hand and left knee is behind the left coming into pigeon. Make sure we're not sinking over onto the left. So keep the weight equal in between both hips. Your foot can come in or it can go out. It's totally up to you. Spin left hip back, right hip forward, and then start to take a twist towards the left knee. You're welcome to stay up here or you can bring your pigeon low. Two more rounds of breath. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, come back to the hands, undo the twist, curl right toe under, lift right knee off, and bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Slowly spin towards me and let the hips sink for skandasana, feeling a big stretch along the hip and inner thigh. And then let's just start to take it over. If needed, you can always reduce the range of motion and come up here. Once more each side. Hold this side, rotate quarter turn towards that foot, release left knee, and then take your left hand up and over. Keep a neutral low back. We're just doing that runner's lunge on the other side. With every exhale, try to reach a little bit more, not spilling into the hips. Inhale up to center, on the exhale, slowly twist. You can use your hand and stay up here, or you can even anchor with that elbow. On the next inhale, undo the twist. Both hands go to the inside of the right foot. Heel to that right foot over about twice, and then let it rotate open. You can even use that right hand to guide a little, a little bit more and then take the right hand back to center. Bring right hip back, left hip forward to intensify the stretch. Take the right hand to the inner thigh again and just gently press it open, looking over right shoulder. And breathe. One more big deep inhale. On the exhale, undo the twist, right foot comes down. Heel toe the right foot over, over, over until the right foot is behind the left hand and the right knee is behind the right. You can always let that foot come in as well. This is your practice. Spin left hip forward, right hip back, and then rotate towards that right knee and gently fold. On the next inhale, come back to the hands, undo the twist, curl left toe, lift left knee, bring right foot back, quarter turn to me, and we have skandasanas for four, three, two, one, come to the center, release the left knee, release the right knee, and then start to shimmy it out. Just one at a time until you feel a big stretch along the inner thighs. Once you feel that stretch, start to bring it back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Inhale forward, exhale back. Last time, inhale forward, exhale back. Hold the pose, not the breath. You're welcome to stay right here or you can even come down to the hands. One more big deep inhale down and around. On the exhale, come back to the hands to come out of this pose. Right knee comes in an inch, then left, then right, then left, then right, then left, until you can swing the legs around and then bring one leg on top of the other. It doesn't matter which one, because we're going to do both. You're setting them on top of one another. It may be a little intense at first, so you can always 
just come to a cross-legged position as well. So one foot goes on top, big deep inhale up. Then on the exhale, start to fold forward. Inhale up to center. Exhale towards the top knee. Inhale up to center. Exhale towards the bottom knee. Inhale up to center and then exhale, hold center. Hold the pose, not the breath. Breathe into that hip where you're feeling it. Last big deep inhale. On the exhale, come out of it, switch the position of the feet. Inhale up to center. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale up to center. Exhale, fold over top knee. Inhale up to center. Exhale, bottom knee. Inhale up to center. And exhale, fold forward. Hold the pose, not the breath. Last big deep inhale. And on the exhale, come out of it. Swing the legs behind you. Bring the knees wide. Toes go together. And then send the hips back as we in in a wide-legged child's pose. Take your three longest, deepest, expansive inhales and exhales yet. Last inhale, match it with the exhale. And when you're ready, frame the face with both hands and bring it up to a seated position. I hope you enjoyed this nice, quick release work. Let me know how you liked it in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Your love and support means the world. Tag me in your posts and stories at Laurie Medkiff and have an amazing rest of the day. You rock.